Hello, my name is Melanie Ott. Uh, I direct the Gladstone Institute of Virology in San Francisco, and I'm one of the co-organizing co-organizers of HIV and re-emerging viruses this April in Hanover. So I'm Alex Fro from the Africa Health Research Institute in Durban, South Africa. And I'm one of the organizers of the HIV and re-emerging infections meeting. Um, so my name is uh, Olivier Schwartz. I work at the Institut Pasteur. I'm studying human pathogenic viruses, uh, emerging viruses, and I'm very excited to, to be part of the, this meeting, to be part of the organizing committee. My vision for this meeting was really to bring um, virologists and people from different viruses together. Traditionally, we have HIV meetings um, that are centered around a certain part of the virus or a certain aspect of, um, of, um, of research. But I, uh, but, uh, I felt that it was important um, after the pandemic to really align what we're doing for HIV for a long time now with other viruses, including SARS-CoV-2. So usually uh, uh, research into viruses is siloed into different viruses. Everybody who does HIV goes to one meeting. Somebody who does coronaviruses goes to another meeting. And you miss out on these interactions between fields and really trying to understand the bigger picture. And I think this is what this meeting really does uh, that other meetings are not so good at, is, is really being across different fields and bringing researchers from different areas uh, who can talk to each other and have a, a more uh, global understanding of, of, uh, of the kind of virus who can possibly emerge in, uh, in the next pandemic. Uh, well, you know, when we we'll, we will have uh, talks about uh, respiratory viruses, uh, HIV, uh, monkeypox. So each virus has a different uh, uh, ecological niche, a different uh, way of living, of uh, invading the uh, their host. So that's fascinating to see the the multiple strategies and the imagination of the viruses to. To, to get to their targets. And by comparing the different strategies, we can think of uh, common uh, uh, therapeutic strategies, common um, uh, vaccine, uh, vaccination strategies as well. So uh, that, that's the comparison and the multidisciplinarity, which will be uh, very interesting to me. Um, yes, I think we tried to cover everything from the basic pathogenesis and molecular biology to um, applied um, prevention and um, and treatment options here. I'm most excited um, again by the interdisciplinary nature of hearing about the same topic from different viruses. And it's not only HIV and SARS-CoV-2, as Alex pointed out, there's also other viruses uh, there, Ebola, monkeypox, um, and, and many others. So it's really, uh, a broad, a broad um, virus field here. What I'm most excited about is to look also more into the boundaries of viral therapies. I think there is like classical tools that have been very much pioneered in the HIV research field with um, broadly neutralizing um, um, antibodies um, and of course classical antivirals, um, but also other um, things that are now coming um, and becoming more and more accepted like gene therapy, CRISPR, different CRISPRs um, that are being apl um, applied. So I think there is a lot in this um, in this um, in this program. And um, while we classically think that HIV is the longer term virus and we learn from it for other viruses, I think in terms of vaccine development, I think we're very much learning from you know the rapid development of the RNA vaccines um, for SARS-CoV-2 and how this could inform um, HIV. And I think that's a very exciting boost um, for this uh, for this part of the research.
I think the ideal outcome of this meeting would be if we have established new collaborations between different groups that would otherwise not talk to each other, but work on similar um, aspects of viral diseases. Um, and I think virology um, is the truly international um, sort of subject. Um, and we, we're bringing not only people from different fields together, but also from very, very different areas of the world. And I think when we look back into the pandemic um, and what we've learned from it, I think rapid communication, interactions um, with people and researchers, colleagues in different parts of the world was absolutely crucial to get ahead. So I think the collaborative, interdisciplinary and international aspect of the meeting hopefully will bring together uh, fruitful new collaborations that will, um, that will push um, research in different viruses um, forward. So this is th this meeting is is ideal uh, uh, for for these researchers because you know they'll meet uh, uh, the the leaders in the field informally uh, in a relaxed atmosphere, and they can get to know them and 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 form a, a form a network of, of people they know and who, and places they can they can go as their next position. So I think uh, uh, for young researchers as well as established researchers. Uh, this is an excellent meeting uh, to form co uh, collaborations globally. And I think uh, this global aspect of it uh, is really a reflection of, of where where things are going in general research, but special, especially uh, with uh, with fields like virology, which by nature is global because the viruses go everywhere. They have no borders and neither should the science. Register today because this is a unique meeting uh, looking at really different viruses uh, from you know different uh, aspects, and yet yeah, kind of uh, uh, looking for commonalities. So this this is uh, uh, I think will be a very very exciting meeting. I'm looking forward to it. I hope to see you there.